Hi everyone, I am so excited about this video. I had the opportunity to go into the voice clinic at ENT Specialists here in Salt Lake City and have a flex stroboscopy to show you all what the vocal cords and the vocal tract look like when doing a normal speech line. These videos will show you what the vocal tract look like before I straw, while I straw, after I straw, and after using the combo of both straw and cup. Okay, this first clip is of the standard phrase from the Star Spangled Banner. Watch how my vocal tract moves and changes shapes while I'm speaking. Okay, go ahead. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Now this next clip is showing what the vocal tract looks like while using the straw and speech. Remember, when we train with the straw, what we are positioning is happening in the larynx and on the vocal cord level. Our target with the straw is not vowels and consonants. Our target is the epilaryngeal tube position of the vocal folds and the pharynx, which I will outline in the red box. This should remain relatively constant. We are training our muscle memory to get our vocal tract in its optimum position for better success. We are going for the constant inertance or energy, and then we change everything above the glottis to benefit it even more by adding the voice cups. Um. Now, watch this next video and see if you can see a difference in the vocal tract configuration from just using the straw. See if you notice if the vocal tract is more stable and has a more open look. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Obviously, you cannot talk and sing when you have a straw in the mouth. As mentioned earlier, the straw is not training vowels and consonants. That's happening in the upper part of the pharynx. Many people out there wonder, why? Why should we use the straw and how can they keep that same feeling when you take the straw away? Why use the straw when you have to change the vocal tract when you add vowels and consonants? This is where the voice cups come in. When you add the cup, you are able to use vowels and articulate, but you are still creating the aerodynamic changes on the vocal folds and with the straw in it. We are helping the acoustical pressures. You are now able to articulate and sing while keeping the vocal tube at its peak performance. This is optimal training for singing. High energy, speech, yelling, and screaming. So let's see what happens when we add the cup and change the shape of the vocal tract when we add speech. Oh, hey, how do you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Did you notice how the vocal tract was still able to keep its more open configuration while voicing? This is why the voice straw and cup combo kit is known as the game changer for all types of voicing. Now let's watch the final video to see if the vocal tract can remain at its peak level of performance. Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there.
The reviews we are getting from people about what a difference this training kit is doing, it's incredible. This should be a must have for any voice user. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out all the other videos by subscribing to our channel and checking out our website at www.voicestraw.com. All the links will be posted in the comments. However, these videos, they could not have happened without the help from Karen Cox and Jordan LeBaron with the Voice Clinic at ENT Specialists. See you later.